Okay. So now I'm talking to about my next project after after I like, you know. Uh, uh, the next year, I'm very. Uh, I will be very focused in in some ideas or developments or in in in, in Blender. Uh, uh, one of them is uh, the grease pencil staff working with uh, Joshua uh, length uh, allegories, uh, and and the and in the other hand is I'm I'm trying to to make the uh, rigging process more easy to use for independent animator. In fact, all the things that uh, I, I will say in this, in this talk is under perspective of independent animators uh, uh, in Maya. No, it's not in, in, in Blender. It's not about uh, professional rigor or, or company stuff. It's, it's try to make the freedom <laughs> To the region, to the to the region area. So, okay. So uh, right now, the rig. This is a black hole in the creativity of independent animators. So um, we have two guys here. Okay. One uh, one of them is a 2D animator, and the other one is a 3D animator. So uh, the 2D animator can design a character, right? Design a character, can animate it, right? Can make the Cloth on the on the head's movement. No, it's my case. Uh, and so he can he has the power to decide who looks like the character in every frame. Okay, this is a lot of power. This is a lot of power. A two D animator can draw, right? Can, can work with the shape. It's not constrained to work with uh, with a puppet. Okay. Uh, like in, like in, in 3D. So a 3D guy, 3D animator guy, can design the like or model in a character, can animate it, right? But what happened with the, oh, sorry. What happened with the rig? So because the rig is uh, very technical stuff and is, is a Black hole, it's a, it's a black hole in the creativity, right? Because I I I I, uh, I saw this uh, year after year with my students in the school. Very, uh, this is it's a school, a three D animation school. Um, Year after year, I see very talented people, very creative uh, uh, guys that don't know how make his own animation rigs, right? Because it's, it's, it's complicated. So, uh, what happened? Um, you can uh, you can model it. You, you don't know how make a rig, and you get some free rigs, free rigs on internet. Or something like that, or maybe uh, cool rigs uh, pay, right? But all the demo reels are the same, with the same characters, with the same. Uh, it's, it's, for me, it's a tragedy, <laughs> you know. A 2D guy is free to create his own characters, his own uh, uh, his, his own his stories. A 3D guy can't. So it's, it's, uh, you lost a lot of creativity opportunity, opportunities there. Because if a 3D animator can make his own rigs, his own puppet, are not free to create, just for animate. Okay, it's, it's a good part. It's, it's, 
is a good part, is, is good, but it's, so, it's only a part of the creative process, the creative process, right? So uh, what, what is my, my idea or my solution about that is uh, try to make all the rigging process more sim simple to use for, the, for 3D animators, right? I'm, I'm using uh, uh, Maya and Max for rigging, animator and stuff, and Blender. And Blender is uh, the most easy program to make the rigs. You know, in, in Maya is uh, is powerful, but you need a lot of thing, uh, a lot of technical stuff to make a uh, to make a simple rig. So uh, now I want to show you some some ideas, uh, some ideas in this in, in this direction. Uh, the the problem are are uh, have these these three different areas. One of them is the rig, the body rig itself, right? Another part is the, the, the facial rig, okay? And the, the last part is the skinning, the skinning part, right? Uh, in this talk, I, I'm, uh, I will talk about the, the, rig, the, body, the body rigging, okay? And some facial stuff. Um, but we need more simply and easy and solution for, for 3D animators. So, uh, let me show you some example. Uh, Blender is, is the, the, is the most easy program to rig. But even that, to make a simple standard rig features, like uh, uh, EK, FK, right? Or curve bones, or move the ankle? No, elbow. The, the neck. <laughs> the, the, the elbow, yes, the, the elbow. Yeah, you need make a lot of bones and, and a layer of different bones to make this kind of stuff. My idea is uh, just one section per, just one bone per section with all this, uh, with, uh, with this of feature uh, uh, out of the box. So, for example, uh, this is a this is a special version of Blender with with some improvements, and we have some glitches and some problems. But uh, let me show you. Uh, uh, let me show you this one. This is a, a, a simple rig with uh, simple standard features like uh, like uh, EKFK, this kind of thing. And even that, you need more uh, make some two different uh, layers of bones to working with with us. Uh, maybe three in the in, uh, in the legs. Uh, it's, it's complicated for the animator make all these things. You know, it's oh, oh, the rig is uh, for another, for a technical guy. But uh, what, what is the point? The point is, let me show you some implementation here. Uh, we have some visual problems here in the in the bow in the B bone uh, representation with this flat. Uh, normally, this will uh, normally. Uh, this will appear like a square boxes, right? But right now, if you want, if you and in Blender, if you want uh, take the control of the curve bones, you need uh, you need make a child to rotate this child to make these nice curve bones, or make a father uh, a parent bone to 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 get this stuff. And if you want. Even uh, if you want uh, more control, you you need make uh, something like that. Look, well, this is the, the 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 form bone, some control bone to stretch, okay, and some some rigging stuff here to take this control. And all these things put together in EK in FK chain. So you need a lot of layer of bones. What is uh, the, the idea? Is make 
is, is, is simple. It's, uh, take more control of this, this kind of curved bones directly. So right now are more buttons here. So you have control to roll, nomadic control to roll, to curve the bones. Let me, yes, curve the bones on even stretch the bones, scale the bones. So with only that with this simple stuff, right, more control in, in, the, in the bones, you can afford a rig uh, more easily because you don't need make all this kind of thing to control this this uh, control these curve bounds. So uh, we have maybe this one, no, this one. Okay, this is a character of uh, a animator of of a like Abel. It's uh, uh, is a model of Abel, yeah, from Abel. So let me show you here. And in this rig, this, uh, is, uh, I'm working in, in, in the animation of this zombie, right? Is only one bone per section. Just only one bone, okay? And you have control, okay? You have control, maybe you want this is the p bones system, right? And you have control to tweak the curves, the curve bones, and you can animate, of course, okay, to make this fancy poses, right? For example, here. Okay, A scale. Uh, rotate, okay, with no extra brick bones, right? Yes, what, what is the price? Is the manual, right now, the manual stuff, okay? You, you, can, you can animate more controls. Maybe uh, a, good, uh, uh, a good idea is, uh, is make a custom manipulator, a widget, to control this thing in, in, a, in, a, in a fancy way. Uh, we have uh, an old script from Basam. Uh, sliders. That is uh, is another implementation. Uh, oh, you have in, view, um, in viewport some uh, some controls about this stuff. is 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 the same stuff uh, right here. Okay, so. Uh, what? So even when when just one bone, you can make this kind of animation. This is the, in the nose. Okay, it's only it's only one bone here. Working with this. Uh, these new features inside. So uh, this uh, this is a early implementation of uh, this idea, and the other the other part to make uh, this easy or more simple rig uh, will be a, a EK a new uh, a new K uh, features like. A, if you can in, in the in the k in the ek constraint if you have the possibility of uh, make directly the stretch bone okay and the move the neck <laughs> the elbow and make the elbow uh, with the, with this, with uh, these two things is enough is enough to make a simple a standard quality rig with all the standard features like if k stretchy bones and curved bones and something like that and using the minimum uh, number of bones uh, in, in the character and an independent animator with with uh, two or three weeks um, learning this stuff is enough to to create he, his own stuff okay this that's that is the point uh, just just is uh, 
just this is uh, just uh, this is just some ideas okay about in this in this in this in this direction because for me the point is uh, if a 3D animator uh, can make his own stuff his own puppet his own rig are not free to create okay uh, i'm not talking about the professional rigger is if you if you want a really a really good rig with a lot of features in in a production when well, the, the same rig the same rig uh, we are touching by 50 um, 50 different animators you need this kind of stuff but if you are a 3d independent animator it's a tragedy if you come afford or you are afraid about the rigging stuff okay? it's still technical but uh, there is a chance to, to make this kind, bring back this power to, to 3D animators, to, to make a, a simple rig, uh, a very standard uh, a rig, or, uh, or a dog, or a flower, or something like that. And if, if, you, don't, if, if, you, if you need a, three, a rigger, you're not free to get this thing. Okay? You need a rigger for a professional but of professional stuff, you know, but this kind of power uh, is, is part of the animation of the animator work, okay? Because because the the puppet and the shape and the and the create things and thing, things uh, things about new ideas, if you don't know how to make this stuff, you're not free to create this thing. So uh, this all. Oh. <laughs> uh, there, uh, there is this is uh, there is only a part. This is about the body. Ah, let me show you something here. For example, in, in facial animation, uh, yes, is uh, play with. This is only a bone uh, with uh, working with all these uh, features. Okay, and okay, it's only one bone in in the eyebrow. Okay, okay. to work. Uh, this don't mean you you can make more complex stuff, but but the, the point is make simple, uh, make simple to use for the 3D animators. So, any question? Oh. I think it's it's really cool to see what you've done and how you've extended a simple bone to something much more powerful. Um, and I was wondering how difficult is it to invert the math behind it so that you can just pick any point on that eyebrow and drag it and it would calculate the most likely change in those parameters. Yeah. Uh, I think this, this uh, will be nice, a custom manipulator thing. Uh, could I face uh, uh, um, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about the um, DreamWorks example that we were given uh, yes, Friday, where you could just draw with a pen, you could just drag parts of the face. Yes. I think this can come quite close if you can convert that drag yes, into yes. a change of, in these parameters, yeah. and then you don't even need a custom yeah, manipulator yeah. anymore. There are two things here. One of them is uh, the animator don't afraid the animators don't afraid the rigging process, you know, make it more easy. And the other thing is how, how control this kind of thing, this kind of new parameters, because it's some tedious and you no, know, it's not good, new buttons in, in this way. You need the, the, the control, but maybe a, a cool thing with a custom manipulator or something like that to manipulate this in an in a artistic way. You know, but but for me, there is the possibility to make this thing first, okay? because uh, if you if, if it's a difficult stuff, you ah, you uh, is, uh, forget it. But um, you are using the standard blender BJ bone in this. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, only, only, uh, only uh, this. All this. Uh, uh, all, all these parameters are new. Yeah. Okay, this that was extended using Python. Uh, no, it uh, is hard coded. Yeah, okay. Not by me. Is uh, I must uh, thank you to Jose Molina. This is okay. the developer. 
and this is the the rigor of a like, right. and we working in this, but. It's just a proof of concept. It's not a quality code or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's just to, to yeah, but prove. The, the curve bones, uh, I added that like 10 years ago when Bassam mentioned uh, how, how uh, some rigging software works. And it's a very powerful type of bone to have a, a yeah. bendy bone, right, in, uh, in yeah. rigs. So I'm very happy to see that it's being picked up. And we need character uh, software developers because character coding uh, and yeah. animation developers, they are very rare. We, we only have like one in the whole Blender development community who yeah. really understands it. So your guy had to connect with ours, right? Okay. Yeah? Yes, yeah? Okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I will make sure that this happens. Yeah. When can we have it? <laughs> <laughs> It's awesome. I, I'm really uh, amazed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but for me, the, the, the idea behind this presentation is about the freedom to create in 3D animation independent. It, this, this is a few ideas in this direction. It's like a grease pencil stuff or something. It's the possibility to create uh, things in an easy and a, in a friendly way. Um, a bit in the same idea as uh, the first person that made a question. Uh, yeah, like I think manipulators, it's really nice, but in, for example, in, in Krita, which has nothing to do, but uh, when you want to uh, change a Bezier curve, yeah. you just just click and drag, and it automatically, oh. and it automatically uh, fits the tangent in the direction you want. And basically, it would be so awesome if you could do it exactly that. You just drag and it yeah. And it yeah, yeah. Automatically, automatically calculates the curve. Yeah, that yeah, would be nice just idea. A, an, an awesome, awesome right. idea. I also think that's a lot easier with this model than when you have this complete chain of different control bones and other bones. I think this one is much easier to map onto which one. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. Bye thank bye. you a lot. So, we have a two minute break. And then we have uh, Steve Gecko talking.